today we're going to talk about bare essentials. As a nomad, as a van lifer, let's say you just need to get into your van very quickly. We're going to talk about the very, very bare essentials. Right now, I'm going for a walk. I'm at the playground. Just looking around, enjoying. Now here, I'm stretching my back. This is your exercise of the day. Hang on to something and pull down and stretch your back muscles. And there you go, you can stretch your leg too. Why not? Okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, you're here. Okay. Let me climb over. This is how I get into my minivan. Welcome to my home. See these bins here? This is in front of the sliding door, so I can't use that unless I'm out boondocking. I just reach over and hop in. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome to my home, van life full time. So today I'm going to talk about the bare essentials to van life. The bare essentials, the ultimate bare essentials. Let me take my glasses off. You love to see my eyes, everybody, don't you? You guys tell me you do. Well, I just walked, so I'm a little out of breath. Let me get some glasses on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> so, the reason I want to talk about the bare essentials is because what if we do the what if game? What if you have to leave your house really quickly? Um, what if you have to escape? What if you're running from somebody or something? What if you just lost your apartment? Or you just lost your home and you couldn't pay your mortgage, your rent, for whatever the reason. Or they're going to rent it out or they're stopping renting. And you have to leave quickly and your thought was, I'm going to have to live in my vehicle because I can't find anything right now. Well, let's talk about the bare essentials. And the reason I really um, can relate to that, because when I first became an, a nomad and I started living in my minivan, it was five years ago, almost almost six, five years ago. I mean, I didn't know what I was doing. I saw a lot of videos, but I didn't know exactly what I was doing. And I'll tell you, I kind of had the bare essentials with me. Oh, I had a little bit more, but I thought about this and I looked around. So let's go over some bare, bare essentials, items that you can get by. That's all you need to get by with that you could live in your vehicle. So let's get started with that. Well, I've got my list down here. So I'll be looking at that every once in a while, you know, keeping it real. And what I'm gonna do is as I go through the list, I'm gonna pull them out. I don't have them all laid out, except I do have my a stove right here. So let's just get started with the stove. You know, I've got my stove. I've got a butane stove, let me see. It's a butane stove. If you are brand new to this lifestyle and you had to get into your rig, your vehicle, your car, SUV, whatever it is, you can do it. There are people out here. I see them all the time. I see them every day. And you can get one of these. You can get it either at Walmart or Bass Pro, REI. They're going to be a little more expensive. But you can get on Amazon and you can order this. I, I, I don't even know what the price is now, maybe $18, $20, but it's a butane stove. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And if you have the, I keep mine over here, butane, I just keep it handy. Here you go. Easy peasy. And the instructions are in when the first time you use it. If not, you can go through some of my videos and find out how to use this. Now, I thought about this. Now, really, do you need like a, a pan with a pan with a handle on it? Maybe like a two cord uh, pan? Not really. You can get by with a fry pan. You really can't. 
keep out of the fry pan. I keep mine in a bag because a lot of times I don't really cook meat in here and I can just uh, wipe it out because I use olive oil and wipe it out and then put it in here. But you might also want to have, if you want water, I have one of these and I got this at Walmart. See how it kind of and folds in for easy. And this makes a, a good, um, a large cup of coffee. Yeah. So, but you don't even have to make coffee. Here's where my thinking was. If you have to hop into your vehicle and go, guess what? You don't even need to really, you don't even need a fry pan. I would suggest this just in case you want to make tea or you need to heat up water. I mean, sometimes you just need to heat up water that you could go to restaurants. And I know nomads that do, that do major, major restaurants. They just, they eat at restaurants. And in between, they might have some snacks. So you can have like your little snick snacks, right? And you can just go to restaurants. And you can, I mean, fast food, kind of iffy. But if you've got the money and you can do restaurants, you don't need all this other fancy stuff. Now, if you want coffee in the morning, yeah, if you want coffee and tea, well, guess what? I know some of my good friends, they go to McDonald's or one of the fast food places and get coffee every morning. Yeah, they just get a big thing of coffee. And they'll sit in the parking lot and just drink it. So you don't have to have all this fancy stuff to be a nomad, to live in your van full time. You don't need that. Okay, so I wanted to point this out to y'all. This is bare essential equipment. If you need to get in your van and get going right away. Then later, you can maybe find out, well, no, I want to add these things on. And I am going to address these add-ons, these comfort essentials in a little bit. Down the road, not in this video. So we got the stove. Now, I don't care if you, because a lot of my friends, they use bathrooms every morning. I don't know how they do that. I suspect that they do have pee buckets because in the night, right? And most of them do have a bucket with a, let me just show you. Here's my bucket. And so this would be an essential. My bucket's kind of wide, but you don't need one like that. Um, I had a smaller one in it. Yeah. So, and you need, I took off the handle part. This is just the seat. I took off this part that closes. It always got in my way. It's like I ripped it off. It was more weight. You need baggies to line it with if you're going to do number two. And I've got my pee bottle. You can see how wide it is. And here's what I do. I take, after I use my bucket in the morning, I just get a clean bag, baggie. I line it, I have an extra case that I put my pee bottle in, I put it in here, I park this on top of it, and I keep this in my front seat. When I'm back here, I put it in my front seat. When I'm going to go get out, I put it back here. It's easy. I'm going to say, yeah, you need to have the bucket. Because what if you woke up in the middle of the night and you had diarrhea and you had to go? You, you need to have that bucket. It's an If you'd want to use bathrooms throughout the day and before night, first thing in the morning, I mean, go for it. But have that handy just in case. So I think that's a bare essential. What else? Oh, a water container. you got to have water. I mean, even if you just want to carry a couple gallons with you, if you're going to be living in a city, um, you had to hop into your vehicle quick. I mean, you had to get out of your apartment, out of your house quick. And this was your last resort. And you thought, well, I guess I got to go in my, my vehicle and you get in there. Get yourself a couple of these. You can fill them up for 29 cents at Walmart and have yourself a water bottle. Easy. This is bare essentials. You need to have a can opener because you might want to go to the store and you might want to open up a can and if you were bare essentials, guess what? You could eat like um, green beans out of, right out of the can, right? You do not have to, I think it's wise to have bare essentials to have. 
good to have a can opener. Yeah. This is where I keep my dishes. And, um, you might want to have a bowl. Yeah. Let's say you want to have soup. You could put it in your fry pan or in that one other, uh, container I showed you could heat water in and just have a quick bowl. And you can buy these at Walmart. You got the fork, you got the spoon. You want to have a cutting knife, you want to cut an apple or something, right? I have this fork too. And I do have some paper plates. You can maybe keep around some paper plates. Go to Walmart. You can pick them up for a couple bucks for a pack of 50. These are your bare essentials. You don't need much more than that, do you? If you want to survive. If you're going to go out boondocking, you need more. But I'm talking about bare essentials for surviving in your van if something goes down and you need to take off and get away from your place where you're staying. That's it. What's next? Oh, well, of course you need your, your hygiene, whatever you use for your hygiene. But definitely I've got in here toothpaste and toothbrushes. You need to be able to clean your teeth. Now, I think a towel and a wash rag is really good. And I have a collapsible bucket. But you know what? You don't even really need that. Because you can go get a shower if you want to. You can get them at truck stops. You can join the gym and get them at gyms. I mean, you can do anything. So I'm just saying it's easier to have one of those collapsible buckets. But you don't have to have that in order to survive in your minivan. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, you can get a wash rag and kind of get it wet and just kind of wash up a little bit and have whatever you use for your skin, for your body. Now, as far as hair, you're probably going to need a shower or you're going to need to have a nice bucket. And I'm going to show you that pretty soon. Maybe, I don't know, a couple of uh, videos um, ahead. I'm going to show you how, again, I want to show you how I wash my hair because guess what? I had to wash my hair soon. Um, it's hanging in there, but I haven't had a shower in, um, mm, yeah, it's been like a week and a half, I think. Yeah, a week and a half. I haven't had a shower to wash my hair. So, and I don't have it, like I told you, I don't have a gym going on right now, a membership. Okay, what's next? Let's see what's next here. Teeth cleaning. Oh, wipes. I say wipes, and you don't have to have this fancy packet. I bought the packet, and I cut them on, but just get some wipes. Got to have wipes. You just got to. Um, you wipe out your your uh, skillet. You wipe off your hands sometimes. Yeah, and another thing, too, I think it's important to keep hand sanitizer around. Um, always use it, like, after you use your pee bottle, you know, something like that. Or you've been just got a, a, out of Walmart. You want to, like, sterilize your hands. I keep that handy right there. And I think a bare essential, some paper towels. Yeah. Now, these are the cheap ones at Walmart. 50 cents. I think that, oh, I think they went up to 52 cents. Yeah. Um, we've got maps. Oh, you got to have some maps. Unless you're in the city that you absolutely know, but you still have to have maps. Where are my maps? Where's my maps? <laughs> my maps. My maps are right here. Yeah. Um, Google Maps. Use Google Maps. Yep. yep. Google Maps. Oh, you got to have some sort of a bed structure, right? You want to sleep. Well, if you're in an SUV, where are you going to sleep? Really? Yeah. I mean, you've got some clothes and you've got things like that. So, um, everybody's bed structure is going to be totally different. Some people, they do the build out. But for bare essentials, you could, if it's a lot of SUVs, the whole seat goes back and lays down. But you want to have your feet, don't want them. If you sleep with your feet down all the time in the front seat or whatever, I've seen it numerous times whoever does that their ankles swell up because all the blood pools in there don't ever do that um even if you have to put your feet sideways and put your feet up on something on the passenger seat do it 
My bed structure is here. I sleep on the floor. You all know that. Well, if you don't, you got to be watching my videos, right? But I sleep on the floor. I have a sleeping bag and I roll it out. It's very comfy, cozy. And I have blankets down underneath here. This very comfy, cozy. And uh, so you need a bed structure. And with that, something, even if it's your seat, you need pillows and blankets. And mine are up here. You don't, I mean... Um, I happen to have two pillows here and three pillows up here. I'm a pillow girl. I like to keep my knees um, comfortable, things like that. But yeah. Okay, so you need some bedding. Another essential is window coverings. You have to have window coverings. You're not going to be comfortable if you don't have window coverings. People can just look in at you. So... However, I'm not going to show you how to do window coverings. These are my window coverings. And I've got up, up here under the rubber right there. And I've got these little pins. Um, they're little uh, pins. Let me show you. If I can find it. This one. They're the smallest size of a pin see yeah there we go and it's up there in the night when I get ready for bed I pull this down I take the pin off and it comes down and I have three of them that holds it up during the day I bring them down and it is blackout curtains yes now on my side windows I have some um, coverings for the two, the two front windows, <laughs> yes, in the front, and then ahead in my windshield, I have um, some. You can just buy them at Walmart. Some windshield shades, yeah. Cover your windows if you have the back window. Mine is easy to cover, and um, if you have a back window. Maybe get a structure and you're going to have to tape it on or put it on somehow. That's a toughie back there because if that's such an angle, it always wants to fall off. It does. I have mine taped up and I have um, on my two side mirrors, I have um, the blind side mirrors attached to my side mirrors so that I can see behind me pretty good. Well, you know what? That's about it. You can, you can use restaurants. You can go to McDonald's and, and get your coffee. You can, I mean, I wouldn't eat there every day, but yeah. Or you can go to Walmart and just get, grab some, um, quick food. They even sell sandwiches there, but you can do that. We're talking bare essentials. If you got to get in your vehicle very quickly and you're still making a lot of decisions, on what you're going to do with the rest of your life. Where are you going to be? Are you going to use the vehicle you have? Are you going to get a minivan? Are you going to get a van? But you had to get going quickly. You can do the lifestyle and you can do it very quickly. Um, just by these essentials. Let me read them again. Your fry pan and your small pot. Your stove. Your bucket and your pea bottle. Your water containers. Your fan. Oh, I didn't mention fan. Oh my gosh. I'm glad I went over this. You really do need a fan. You have got to have a fan. Now, we'll get into, you know that I love my power stations and I love my solar on my roof that can power up. Well, I'm just doing nothing. It just is powering up. But what if you don't have that yet? Guess what? I know at Walmart they sell them and you can get them on Amazon. A fan using batteries can get expensive, but at least you have a fan at night, especially in the summer. It can get stuffy in here. So I would go ahead and get yourself a fan. A battery operated till you can decide what you want to do. I've got so many videos. Just look down on the videos that I have that will help instruct you how to get going if this is also new to you. We've got the utensils, um, you play a, one plate, one cup, one knife, one fork, one spoon, and um, a can opener. You get all your teeth clean. Got to keep, you got to take care of your teeth. Wipes and paper towels, maps, your bed structure, structure, your bedding, blankets, pillows, 
and window coverings. Guess what? You can live in your, you live in your vehicle, right? Right. So this is your bare essential list. <clears throat> hey. Okay. Let me get my coffee here. I need a sip. A sip of coffee. 6,000 steps. At a park. I don't have a gym membership anymore right now. I'm in between gyms. Yeah. So I'm, I think I'm going to save some money and I'm just going to do it on my own because I'm pretty motivated to do that. Look, my arms get some cut going on. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, I am walking around now with, um, some important equipment. I've got my bear spray. And I've got my air horn. Yeah. You never know. I'm at a park and you just never know. And I tried to come out early, so I just want to be um, better safe than sorry. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video little bit of essentials. I'll get to some different essentials, maybe campsite essentials, um, cooking essentials, you know, like um, more supreme uh, essentials, you know, comfort essentials. But today I wanted to talk about the very bare minimum. Till next time, thanks for spending time with me. Don't forget to subscribe and minivanlee.com has arm gaiters, neck gaiters, exercise videos, and if you want to leave me a gift, I've got all uh, amounts on there. And I want to say thank you to Kathy. She gave me a large gift. So I really appreciate you. You always have good advice. I, I, I value your opinions. And thank you so much for always supporting me. Till next time.